Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be doing another live commentary. I'm actually really, really, really enjoying these kinds of video. So what I'm gonna be doing this week is I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing something on the basis of what you guys wanna hear. So if you have any questions, like any stories you wanna hear, or anything like that, any advice you want, make sure you put it down in the comment section below, and I'll make sure to do a video on it, so you guys can have your questions answered, and things like that. I can always do a QA, and a but I prefer doing it this way, just because, you know, I prefer playing video games and talking about stuff, rather than the other way around. So, the topic I want to talk about today is being a high schooler. Right. Now, I'm a senior in high school, so I've gone through all of high school by the last year, and I'm already halfway through my year, which is incredible. You know, I've only been at school like I don't even know how long, but it feels like just yesterday that I was walking into school as a freshman. You won't believe how many times I've made the mistake of talking about a teacher that I had in freshman year or in 10th grade year. And like, you won't believe how often that actually happens. Now, high school sucks. I'm not even gonna lie. About it. It's better, no, actually let me rephrase that. High school is better than middle school, but it still sucks. Right, so you go in freshman year and you're that, you're those kids, right? You're the kids that everyone is looking at, everyone's looking at, just because there's so many new faces that are in the high school. And you know, there's just so many of you. You're little, you probably have a high voice, you're probably super small as I was going into freshman year. So, I mean, you know, freshman year isn't bad. I mean, it's a big step up from from high, uh, from middle school. The workload is a lot more, you know. The teachers are a lot scarier. They're not so nice to you anymore. They're not so lenient. Things like that, right? But it's not, it's not awful. I don't know how I thought I was behind the door. Then you go into grade 10, and, you know, things are starting to pick up a little bit more. Nothing's really different. You're a year older now. You're a little more mature. You, you know, the teacher, you know, you generally know the teachers around the school. You know what to expect. It's just the workload is a little bit different. Then you go into your junior year. And I'm in, I, I obviously just finished my junior year, the senior. Um, but I took something called the IB. It's called the International Baccalaureate. And it is apparently, and I don't, It's these aren't my words, so, you know, don't quote me. It's one of the hardest high school systems in the world. Just because of the, the rigorous hours of the workload. Um, you guys have heard me talk about schoolwork being so much. This is why. It's because of the IB. So if you're taking the IB, rest in peace your social life. I really hope you manage to get through it because it really does help you later on. Um, but going into a junior, not necessarily... Well, you're either probably going into your IB, your AP, or your uh, A-levels, depending on where you live. I think those are the, well, those are the only three like systems that I'm aware of, I'm sure there's more. So if I don't mention yours, don't get offended, it's just because, you know, I'm not a well-rounded human being, I guess. So, you know, the first year is generally where you do most of your work. You get most of your, you know, you learn most of this stuff, and you get most of the stuff done in your junior year, or your grade 11 year. So in your senior year, all you really have left to do is study for your exams. And obviously you do a little bit more learning because you can't learn all that stuff in one year, right? You know, going into junior year, things are picking up, the workload's more, you know, you're getting used to the IB system, whatever system you're going into, because it's the first time you're going to experience it, right? And, you know, at the beginning, it feels easy. It feels like you're cruising. It feels like there's no work. You're absolutely fine. And then you get into the middle of semester one, and the work starts to pile up a little bit, but it's nothing you haven't seen before. And then you come up to Christmas, and you get, like, a 4,000 word paper that you need to do over Christmas. And you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna do it easy. I'll just wait until I get back. It's all gonna be fine, you know. You leave it all upset. You leave it all of December break, or, uh, and, and then you come back, and it's like, holy shit, I haven't done my paper. So you get to work on it, like, okay, it's fine. I'm gonna bang this out in a couple hours. It's gonna be completely, completely fine. And then you don't. And then you start panicking, and you start putting it off, and you keep putting it off. And everyone does this because I know, I know they do. Because I've seen, I've seen myself do it. I've seen so many other people do it. You keep putting it on, and you put it on, and you do it, I'll do it, I'll do it the next time, do it the next time, do it the next time. And then you just get to a point where you're like, well, it's too late, I'm not going to be able to finish it, screw it, I'm not doing it. Right? And it all happens to us. Like, it happens to all of us, we all do it, don't even deny it. I'm sure there's someone that's going to be like, no, I've never done that in my life, and I bet you have. Everyone's procrastinated to a point where it's just been so bad, you know, you need help, right? 
never and then you start to realize, well, shit, this is actually pretty good. This isn't going to be as easy as I anticipated. So you get that out of the way. You, you, you finish up the work you need to do. You get a kick on your backside. And then you go, you know, you do your exams, you do okay, you, you, I'm not going to say you scrape by because most of you probably don't scrape by, most of you probably do adequately, if not better. I know myself, I just scrape by, but that's just because of me, you know, I'll do a minimal effort to uh, get, get minimal effort and expect the best results, and I've learned now that that just, just doesn't work. Right, so you, you know, you get your exam results, it'll all be fine, and then you'll go off for the summer, and those of you doing the IB, uh, rest in peace, will uh, be doing the extended essay. And, you know, I learned very quickly in the year one of IB, as I'm sure most people do learn in the, I, in the first year of you know, A-levels or what have you, or AP, that procrastinating is not your friend as it was before. Because you can't just do all your work in a weekend, and you can't just do all your work the night before, right? It just doesn't work like that anymore. You, you can't do that to yourself. So, you know... I, I, I learned really, really quickly. I did my extended essay but in like the first two weeks of summer. I was done this one. Like, I just did it. I cranked out an hour a day, got it done. Had nothing to do for the rest of the summer except just relax and chill out with friends and play Call of Duty and all that, you know, all the stuff that I wanted to do. I got that shit out of the way super fast. Came back to school, it was all G, I'm all good, and then I see my friends. And 99% of my friends hadn't finished their extended essay. Most of them, I'm not gonna say most of them because that's not fair, but some of them hadn't even started. Right? And I'm seeing them stressing the fuck out. Right? They're coming into school and they, 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 they can't stay awake at school. Like, literally I had someone in math class the other day look at me like with caffeine patches on and be like, I haven't slept, I didn't sleep last night until 4 in the morning because I was working my extended essay, right? So they, they put it off, and I saw how much of a fucking drag that was. So, you know, I'm kind of glad that I got mine out of the way. But tip, if you are doing that, don't put off your your you know, your summer reading and don't put off any of that over the summer because it's just going to suck and it's just going to bite you in the ass later, right? So, yeah, so I kind of did that. I kind of got mine out of the way. And now I'm seeing everyone else suffer and everyone's like, why aren't you doing work? Why aren't you staying up late? It's because, like, I finished my super bitches. Get the fuck out of here. Your boy Vex actually did some work for once and got his shit together, right? Like, not off, very often that happens. So, yeah, and now I'm in my senior year, and, you know, everyone, I would think everyone's gonna go through this time where you, like, you start to look at universities and start to see where you might think about going, and, you know, it gets pretty exciting, because, I mean, you know, you're gonna be living on your own for the first time, you're gonna be doing all this stuff. The thing about school is I'm 17 years old, right? I've been going to school since I was four years old. 13 years of my life, which is way more than half. It's like the majority of my life I've spent at school, at home. And like, it's just starting to dawn on me in like six months time, I will know where I'm going to university if I get accepted. Heaven forbid I don't because my parents are gonna fuck. Like, I don't even know what's gonna happen if I get accepted. In six months time, I'm gonna be moving out. I'm gonna be gone from home. I'm gonna be living on my own in a completely different country probably than my family. Well, my, my immediate family, I should say. And that's just becoming so surreal to me. Like, it, it, it's incredible. I, the more that I think about it, the more that it scares and excites me. Like, the more that I can't wait for it to happen, but at the same time, I kinda don't want it to happen. I like living at home, you know? I like having my mom around to fix my problems. Know, cook my dinner. You know, food, man. Like, it's important. And you know, my sister goes through episodes and times where she's like, I don't want you to leave. Like, just stay here. You don't need to go to university. And like, it hits home. It really, really does. And if you're not a senior yet, you will get to this point where you start to feel like this. You start to feel like, shit, man, I'm moving out of home. I'm not going to be home for much longer. You know, I mean, obviously you're going to visit, but like, after you finish university, like, after you go and finish university, most likely you're going to be living on your own after that. Probably forever until something bad goes wrong or until you just get on your feet. So, you know, it's probably your last sort of few months with your family, man. Like, that's what's dawned on me and that's what's so scary to me at the minute. So, my advice and what I'm going to be trying to do over the next six months is making, you know, making the most of every opportunity I get to spend the time with my friends that I'm not going to see again because we're going to different countries. And, and and spend the time, more importantly, spend the time with my family. It's my last six months with my family living together. Hopefully. Not that I don't love my family, but I'm ready to live with my family. 
So what I really want to do is I want to go out and live my life with my family with my last six months because it's not going to be like this again where I see them every day for a long period of time and that's what I want to do and that's what I wanted to say I want you guys you get to this point and you really what I really I advise you to do is spend the time with your family man they've devoted so much time effort and money into you and you know the least you can do is make the most of your last six months so yeah that's what I really wanted to say and really what I wanted to talk about I know it was a little bit of a kind of a different video a little bit uh, weird in the topic but there's just something that had been going on my mind that I, I wanted to talk about so if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a like if you didn't refresh your page and give it a try anyway guys it's been your boy Vex